Hey, welcome back to the channel. We are once again up here at the off-grid property, Northern Arizona. All right, we're gonna be here for, I don't know, seven days or so. Main focus is gonna be right here. I bought these two gates right here, tractor supply, and we're gonna hang them from some old railroad ties. Bought up some extra diesel for the tractor because we're gonna be doing lots of tractor work. I probably won't bore you with a whole lot of that, but first things first, I need to unload, unload, I don't need to unload. I'm not unloading anything right now. First thing I'm gonna do is disconnect the trailer. So I'm gonna park it over there, disconnect it. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little damp up here. We found us a little bit of mud. Yeah, so it's hard to tell, the ground looks dry, but just beneath the, Beneath the fluffy surface here, it's wet right there. So half an inch, it's mud. So what does that mean? Well, it means that I need to wheel roll my camp here and compact everything down because we may be getting some snow here on a couple of days. And then again, a couple of days after that. So it's better to compact all of this first before it rains and or snows. So it uh, doesn't become a nasty, muddy mess out here and it'll dry up quicker. It's been a, been a minute since she's been uh, on the channel here, but there's old Sadie. Yep. Still as happy as ever. She's getting old guys. She's, she's had some issues over the past few months. And uh, I don't know how many more times she's going to come up here. She looks all happy and spry right now, but uh, she's not been doing too good. So she is uh, over eight years old and she's got some issues. But we'll see. She loves it up here. You, can, you, you can't tell, but she's much happier here than she is at home. That's for sure. This is where she belongs. Anyways, uh, kind of a cloudy day, a little, eh, pretty breezy actually, quite breezy. Hey, if you guys haven't already done so, please, I can't stress this enough, go down below the video in the comment section, click on the link to my other channel and subscribe. I need you to do that because I'm going to be posting far less on this channel and more on that channel. So. Go subscribe, click the bell icon. Okay, I've got to get some stuff done. Uh, my neighbors are up right now, and my other neighbors are gonna come up, and then my other neighbor's gonna come up tonight, and uh, I'll be doing some visiting with them, but I've got to get some work done. So let me get at this.
All right, that'll do for now. It's weird, the ground looks dry, but when you drive on it with a heavy truck like that, you can tell it's very soft beneath this. It's very floaty. Um, heck, I can even, I can even bounce on it right now. <laughs> There's a lot of moisture under there. So I didn't do the whole thing this time. I just don't feel a need to. And I'm gonna have the tractor out here at some point here later, but just a place to kind of walk and drive and not get bogged down in all that thick stuff. Then I wheel rolled this a little bit. There's a really big soft spot right here. And I don't know if you watched last year, I removed a couple of boulders from the ground right here. Major soft spots right here. <laughs> I actually had to throttle through those a little bit. All right, so that's done. I'm not gonna mess with the trailer right now. I think I might, I think I might fire up the tractor. Well, that's not good. <laughs> the tarp is beginning to shred. Oh, yep. All right, that's the end of that tarp. Just like that. Right, so we're here at the east edge of my property where my driveway or road starts real quick i want to show you I did a bunch of work right here last year and i dug out this little i don't know retention basin it actually works you can see all the water that's been flowing off here and it's just pooling up right over here which is great this is great, it's protecting all the work I did here, but unfortunately, once it fills up, it overflows. It runs down there and around and back onto my road down there. So <laughs> I've got to continue the uh, ditching down there just to get all this squared away. But it does work, as you can see. I'm sure the elk and the cows and everything else appreciate that little bit of water. Okay, so initially I was gonna go ahead and put a gate in right here where I've had my entrance to my driveway. But these are kinda, of, it's kind of an unfavorable location for putting posts in the ground. I've got big, huge rocks, boulders over there to contend with and a couple right here. And this just isn't a great turning radius right here for large vehicles in case I want something really big brought in here. So I think I'm gonna move it right over here. I will have to move some large rocks to do this, but right here, this nice big opening right here, I'm gonna probably just have it, the gate somewhere, probably offset the gate somewhere right here. So about, I don't know, 10 feet further into my property than my other gate was. Put the post somewhere right here. And it's going to be 20 feet, so plenty of uh, width to turn in here. And then I'm going to clean all that stuff up right there, and, and it'll be a, ni a nice gradual turn. And I'll clean some of this stuff up so they can turn wide if they need to to come in here. And then i got to clean all of this up. This is going to be a lot of work right here because it's all rock, and I don't have any good topsoil here to put down. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all this, but... 
I'm gonna pick all the big ones out, set them aside, and then try to knock some of this down and clean it up. Hey, stop eating. You don't eat stuff. Then I'm gonna take that tree out. This tree is dead. It's got a pretty decent amount of firewood on it. There's only, no, that's not even part of the tree. There's a couple of shoots behind it that are not dead, but I'm gonna go ahead and just take this out, chop it up into firewood. And then from the new gate right here, the road, road's gonna curve in and then go straight down that way. And then this will also be access to my other road that I wanna put in, which is gonna go, hard to see from here, but literally straight that way will take you all the way over to where we want to put a permanent home site that'll be really nice once i get all that knocked through but that's going to be some time so not on this trip for sure my biggest objective on this trip is to get the gate put in knock a lot of this down get rid of this tree and then work on a couple things over at the camp so i'm going to get started on this all right, the end of day one. This is what I did today. All right, uh, let's see. Quite a bit of work over here on the tractor. It probably doesn't look like it, but it took a whole bunch, all these big, you can't, it's pretty dark, but these big honking rocks. This one's not coming out. <laughs> That one's gonna get jackhammered the top off of it. It's just, it's too big. Anyways, got all these rocks out of right here. They're all right here. And then knocked a bunch of stuff that way. Piled up a bunch of rocks here. And then came back and started picking some of this stuff up by hand. We plan to possibly in the future have something like a like a manufactured home delivered. Not a huge one, but you know, I think it's probably gonna be at least 40, 50 feet long. If we do that. Well, in order for a tractor trailer to get into this property, they're gonna to have to make quite the wide turn and come in here. And the further back my gate is, the better. So I've decided from that tree there, all the way to this tree here, I'm gonna clear everything out. All the big, eh, I don't know about that one. I may have to jackhammer that one. <laughs> it's pretty big. Everything else is gonna get leveled, cleared, including that tree right there. That's gotta go. And the gate is basically gonna go kinda right where that tree is right back there and then once they grade the road and I have the correct offset I'll go ahead and I'll leave this big wide open area fence going over and then out to my uh, my property line fence but I want this big huge area right here to be able to turn into with large vehicles so that's what I'm going to do and the gate's going to go somewhere right over there I started chopping this one down and I'm going to leave the, the stump here, cut everything else off it and then I'm going to dig out the roots around it and try to pull this thing out of the ground. We'll see if the backhoe can do it or if I can do it. Got some decent little pieces of firewood here which I'm going to need. Nice looking stuff. Got a few really good pieces and the rest is kind of small stuff. Then once I pull the stump out, I'll, I'll buck all that up into firewood as well. But the sun is just about gone. And I've got to do some cleanup over here real quick. Uh, get the tractor back with the firewood and then come back. Well, i got to walk back out here, grab my truck. Go back and then I'm going to head over to my neighbor's place. And uh, shoot some pool. So... That's gonna do it for today. We'll see what tomorrow brings. See ya.